being here today. Um, so I'm so I think it's very important that civil society overall keeps paying attention to that issue and not only at the sea border but also at the land borders and what is happening to refugees within Europe once they, once they have arrived. I hope that what comes out of the negotiations currently taking place will be some real improvement and not just um, a mixed bag making it even more difficult for people like me and many, many organizations uh, to carry out uh, solidarity and to help people who are in danger of their lives. Fear of competence, and that means that we have to send our own assets, that we have to make. Well, one of the questions which is asked very often, would I do it again? Yes, of course. Um, there's a huge need for ships to be out there. People are dying every day, so of course I would do it again. Once again, it was in compliance with the international maritime law. What we have done, the court has ruled that uh, instantly after my arrest. So yes, of course. The countries, but in fact they are fleeing at the moment. And if you see that reality, you have to react to the reality. We would welcome a EU mission in the Mediterranean Sea. I've been saying that since three years when I first came to um, to the rescue vessels. I mean, it's our common border, it's our responsibility. More ships create a better possibility for people to arrive alive to the other side of that ocean. Um, they are stuck in a Basque port because the, Basque, uh, because the Spanish government... And who has stood on the North Pole in 2011. I have seen the poles melting in a... We've seen through these cases and many others that criminalization... What we need is to end forced migration. What we need is all people to have the freedom and the possibility to make a choice. To be able to, leave, uh, to live at home safely and securely or to leave at free will.